Folks, I'll be sharing my techniques and this technology at these upcoming spaces. Sure hope to meet you there. Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, October the 22nd, and this is the Futures in 5. We're taking a look at the ES. In my mind, it's telling me that it is in a bounce pattern here, of course, into resistance, but this flat moving average tells us that we're just as likely to break above it as sit below it. If we reject 2785, that's going to change. That'll mean that we are bound between the lows, which are still higher, and this area here between 2787 or so. If we can breach above that, we're in better shape for a breakout. We're still very vulnerable to selling below this 2800, 2797 area. We must breach and hold it to recover. A lot of the market feels like there's a tremendous amount of negative emotion sitting there. So we'll have to be very careful about reversals. Everything is suggesting that we're in reversal patterns that give us lows that bounce and highs that reject. And that does look like it is going to be the same here. This is the one that gave us a lower edge here, but is now right up at congestion. So what's the storyboard there? Bounces still going to give us sell zones, but our pullbacks look like they're going to battle. And really, if we can hold this region here at 71.11 to 70.89, 70.90, we will be able to see more upside pressure hold in the space. And, you know, if you look at this, you can see it's sort of building a shoulder potentially over here, even though the neckline is negative. It's going to tell us this area right around here where the low volume is. It ought to be able to bounce and pull in that space. Taking a look at the YM, it is, again, holding higher lows. Those higher lows are still jamming up into congestion. We've got a flat uh, this is an adaptive moving average, so it's a flat adaptive moving average, and that tells me that, again, I can spend as much time above it as below it. So you want to watch these edges for the reversals, not think about, hey, I'm going to break out, or hey, I'm going to break down. If we continue to sell the lows or buy the highs, we are really suffering from this space of uh, looking for continuation where there isn't any. We simply are range bound. The ranges just have these big wicks on the edge of them, and so we have to be fairly cautious. Oil is, in a sitting, is sitting in a pretty precarious place. Now, my suspicion is that this is where it's going, the 6770. I've spoken about this a little bit. This is the contract rule, so we're seeing um, the formations here from the newest contract, and we are trying to hold the support zone. So essentially, We've got these higher lows. You know, we really don't know what might happen with this Saudi space. So we're just going to roll with it and know that if we get above this 6990 area, we're going to start to move into this region of rejection. That's going to be the first pass space between 7040, 7070 to 7080, something like that. The fades are bringing buyers into the mix. Below 69.13, though, we're going to have, if you decide you're going to go long right there on that edge, it might be better to wait to see if it builds the neckline here and uh, comes down for the head pattern in an inverted head and shoulders. My thought is rejection area for now, but the deep dips should find the buys. And I'm still looking at this area down here at 67.70 to give us our first big motion to the upside. And lastly, we take a look at gold. This is the thing that's sort of telling me that we may have ourselves a little bit of a bounce action hiding there in the space. It's going to be whether or not this chart holds 1224. I think a lot of folks use gold as a hedge for market motion. I don't know how valid that is, but it's still used that way. And so they are going to try to buy these bottoms. When they break, notice, when they break, they'll still find traction, but it's the failed retest of that break. And right now, this edge is showing us a series of lower highs. And so that suggests that any punch into the thin volume areas here near 1229, 1230, could give us a reversal pattern. Here's the crafty thing here, though. We've got this sideways adaptive average, which says, listen, 
I can hold here and bounce way above it. So if we take a look at it from a big angle, the pullbacks are going to be buy zones until they aren't, right? And this is that first test because it's the move into this area. So the 1224 to 1225 area is the bounce zone, but if it can't get up over 1227 to 1228, it's a space to cut and run. That concludes Futures in 5.